the first app is Ina, a modern media player for macOS. It basically replaces QuickTime or VLC. It has a really similar design to QuickTime to keep up with the theme of iOS, but it can handle a lot more file types than QuickTime and is easier to use with much more functionality. It's basically QuickTime, but on steroids. The next app is Dropover. Dropover is a utility that makes drag and drop easier. Use it to stash, gather, or move any draggable content without having to open side-by-side -side windows. It works with all sorts of file types, text, images from the web, and so on. You can simply store files here to do something with them later. It provides an easy-to-access storage shelf for your Mac that allows you to stash any draggable content. This app floats on top of your other windows. Just shake your mouse cursor or hold the shift key during drag and drop whatever you're dragging into the shelf that appears nearby the cursor. The next app is Magnet or Rectangle. They both have similar functionalities, though Magnet has some more useful productivity features and is generally easier to use. Both of these apps allow you to easily manage your window positions and sizes with simple and customizable keyboard shortcuts and snap layouts. In short, they take the window snapping features from Windows and apply them to your MacBook. Magnet, however, costs $10 while Rectangle is completely free. The Guest Timer Guest Timer is a beautiful Mac menu bar app for those little reminders during the day. Though it costs $4, the way it works is just so satisfying and immediately makes up for the cost. Simply drag the Guest Timer icon onto your screen to create your reminder. It's very simple. The final app is Pocket. Use it to easily save articles, videos, and more for later. You can put all of your content in one place, so you can view it anytime on any device. You can even read articles offline, making Pocket indispensable for subway commutes, flights, or anywhere else you find yourself without mobile data or Wi-Fi.